Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization and this is our video blog number 11 and checking in uh, with our weekly updates for the week of May 6th, 2013. And so now we've been doing these weekly updates for almost three months and this is everything that our team has accomplished as we continue to move forward in our goals to produce the open source and free shared blueprints for sustainable communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world, either as complete villages, cities, or communities, or uh, to duplicate any aspect modularly of all the, of the sustainability components that we're working on. So let's jump into our updates. Uh, the biggest thing that we accomplished in this last week was moving our website, which is uh, a huge undertaking. I didn't think it would be, well, I thought it would be bigger than it was. Then I was excited at how easy it was. And then we were uh, not so excited by everything that was necessary to be done. There's still some touch-ups and things that we're doing. But the entire website of onecommunityranch.org has now been moved over to onecommunityglobal.org. And we are crazy excited to have that change because the One Community Ranch uh, website really isn't representative of our global goals. And so to be moving this over and to have it done is it is something that we've wanted to do for over a year and have dreaded doing because of the amount of work and energy that it took and now for the most part it's done and so if you want to help us out one of the biggest things that could really really help us out right now is going to that website and just liking and sharing some of those pages on Facebook one the only bad aspect of moving the website over is we lost all of our social media love and uh, we have some of the web some of the pages on that website have been liked over 200 times have been shared over 200 times on Facebook for instance and now all those numbers are set to zero and so we kept the old website because um, there's a whole bunch of optimized pages and stuff like that there and it's pointed at the new website but the new website is the only pages that we will be sharing from this point forward and so we put together a strategy to share every page of the of the new website uh, over the next few months uh, through Facebook and Twitter and all the different social media networks. We're just going to share our goal is to share a page a day, either of existing content or updated content, or you know updates like this will be our share for the day, and uh, and to just keep putting that out. But anybody that can help out by just liking the pages, if you like the content, get the word out there. Help us, help us get these out there. Uh, it will be really helpful in our, our Google rankings and, and transferring things over and, and getting uh, all the search engines looking at the new site instead of the old site. So that's our biggest announcement for this last week. Uh, additionally, we're now working on, we're continuing to work on 3D, and I'll post a new picture on the written blog that always goes with these, these video blogs of, of uh, the update to the Sego Center City Hub, duplicable city center and open source lead platinum certified city center that we are, have been designing for a couple of years now and is really coming to fruition with the 3D and everything. And then we've also, we're also starting to do the planning and the plumbing and continuing to work on the 3D for Earth, the Earthbag Village. And so um, with that, uh, those are the big, big infrastructure updates. And then behind the scenes, the other things that we've done, and I'll post pictures of both of those. So we've got Tropical Atrium 3D, which is the positioning of these artistic hand features inside the Tropical Atrium that's going to have layers of terraces that are on the inside of planting. And we've done all the planting and planning on that. And the idea there is to have a really beautiful, cool social space and recreational meditation class space while the plants in that whole tropical area explodes and takes off with all the planting. We've got all the planting and all those details done and so now we're putting it into 3D to look at exactly you know how those hands are going to be positioned and working around with that. And so I'll post the most recent updates of that process which is really fascinating and fun to be engaged in. And then that's the central aspect, the central recreational and food production facility of the Earthbag Village. And so that is now all being 3D'd thanks to the help of John Bassist is uh, assisting us with all the 3D on that and so we're excited. I, I can't wait to show more detailed pictures on that but the one with the hands is pretty amazing and so we'll put that in the written blog as well. And then uh, additionally we've done a whole bunch more on the Education for Life program. We have uh, added images to three new pages. We've got the Bloom's Taxonomy page. We're still working on the uh, eight intelligences 
page and we've also um, put out the mindfulness and fun page with all the images and all that's done and then we've added images to a whole bunch of the other pages as well and so we're just getting to the point where we can start plugging in the content so that we can put all those pages out there as open source and free shared content too and start gathering more global collaboration on those aspects and, and input to make them even better and so and that we're almost to the point of wrapping up the education curriculum for life in that we've got a couple more behind the scenes to do and then we'll put those out on the website and then we're going to start working on the strategies for great teachers leaders and communicators and uh, once that's done then we'll be moving on to the actual lesson plans and planning out the lesson plans for the first six months on the property and uh, and the classroom design so the ultimate classroom and doing that design so we've taken all this information we've got this huge log of details for what that's going to look like and we started talking to um, some of our educational consultants specifically iwe to see if they'd be interested in helping us with that classroom design because they've they've already got a classroom design and so we're excited to uh, engage that process and then one other thing on the education for life program that we completed is the uh, or rather not completed that we've started putting information out on is the um, portfolio creation, portfolio and assessment creation. So the basic overview of what the portfolio and assessment is going to look like is now up as well. And so if you'd like to look at that, check, click on the link in the description for the uh, written blog, which is now on our new website, One Community Ranch, or sorry, One Community Global. Dot org. Take a look at it. Check out these pages if you can. Please start the process of just getting the word out there. Share with people that you know that might be interested in sustainability, world transformation, uh, doing amazing stuff, thinking and creating for the highest good of all. Help us out if you can, and uh, we'd really appreciate that. So with that, that's my whole update. Able to keep it under eight minutes today. I want to say thanks to everyone, as always, for supporting us. And I'm going to jump back into working on those final details of the new website to get that set up. So, uh, or complete, rather. So with that, thanks, everyone. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for following us. By all means, if you like what we're doing, also like the video, share the video. We always appreciate that. And have yourself a fantastic week. And we'll report in with video blog number 12 next week. Thanks, everyone.